Pity our poor representative from the Torngat Mountains, Randy Edmonds, who says he's stuck between a rock and a hard place, and my heart goes out to him. He's trying to do the best that he can to deal with the train wreck called Muskrat Falls and isn't sure which set of experts to believe, which actually pretty much sums up how everyone in the province has felt for the past five years. How indeed is anyone to make heads or tails of this methylmercury problem up in Labrador? On one hand, you have the local Inuit community. They've been telling us since before Nalcor broke ground that they have serious concerns about what Muskrat Falls might do to their food supply. This past spring, the Nunatsiavut government commissioned a slew of scientists, including some from Munn and Harvard, to study the impact of methylmercury on the local ecosystem. Those scientists found that the Inuit around Lake Melville are already exposed to higher levels of mercury than the average Canadian, and that unless an extensive clear-cutting and soil removal program happens at the future site of the reservoir, mercury exposure could increase dramatically. Of course, Nalcor assures us that this is a total overreaction. They had their own people look at it, and they concluded that flooding the reservoir would not have a significant impact on country food or the people who eat it. Gilbert Bennett assures us that nationally recognized technical experts have taken a look at it and concluded that everything is okay. Well, hopefully this is a different set of nationally recognized technical experts than the one who told us that Muskrat Falls would be on time or on budget, since that assessment now appears to have been full of shit. The province's liberal government, of course, is firmly on Team Nalcor, even though when he was opposition leader, Dwight Ball didn't mind ringing the methylmercury alarm bell if it helped him slag the Tories. Environment Minister Perry Trimper, who drives an electric car, is a big believer in the wait-and-see approach to environmental catastrophe in that the government's official plan is to roll the dice and in the event that they accidentally poison the Inuit food supply, lob a little money in their direction. And why not? Isn't this the Newfoundland way? Ignore a problem we might reasonably anticipate in favor of throwing money at it once it's too little too late? Clear-cutting the area and removing topsoil and otherwise expending a slight amount of effort to avoid poisoning the Inuit would actually require work, which is apparently unacceptable in this new age of reconciliation. Why not just send them up the smallpox blankets and be done with it? At least colonialism in the rest of Canada has a touch of subtlety to it. But hey, maybe this is the one time Nalcor is actually right about what Muskrat Falls will accomplish. I don't know, Randy boy. Choosing between Nunatsiavut and Nalcor seems like a no-brainer to me. I'm Drew Brown.